Hello, welcome to another video. In today's video, I shall be baking pretzels, but not any old pretzels. The light is burning my eyes off its corners. But today's pretzels, as you can, as you can already see, because I've given it away, it's going to be from the Tanya Bear, Tanya Bakes book by Tanya Bear, obviously, it says Tanya twice on that. Tanya Bakes by Tanya Bear. And so basically it looked like that. But mine obviously are gonna look a lot less crappier than this. Because I am a not a fat professional baker that time, but you know I'm getting there with my baking skills and yeah, I'll be baking this. And yeah, let's begin. First stops of the first stops. The first steps of baking is that you need to take all your hair back, all your nail polish off and obviously wash your hands and I've got my college apron on because I'm a messy baker as people at my college or in my class will tell you and yeah let's go on with the ingredients. So first off you need 500 grams of soft white bread flour a sachet of seven grams of fast action yeast or just seven grams of fast action yeast you then the need 50 grams of caster sugar a teaspoon of salt 300 milliliters of warm milk which i will warm up when i'm using it 80 grams of butter, butter, not margarine or that fake stuff, butter, because it will make a difference. I know because I'm a baker. And obviously you need more for greasing, but it's over there. Not going to show you. Uh, by 20 grams of bicarbonate of soda. One egg beaten, obviously I'm going to beat it when I use it. And you stuff to decorate, which I've gone for icing and some sprinkles. But Tanya says here, obviously, cinnamon and granulated sugar, which you need. One tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Three tablespoons of golden caster sugar and sea salt flakes, which she's put in here. Optional. You can also screenshot now if you want the ingredients and or method. So Tanya says that I'm, I'm relying on Tanya on this. But if it goes wrong, just blame me. I'll also put I'll also put all the ingredients and utensils that I used in the in this video, obviously. So you need to get yourself a large bowl. I doubt this is large, but we're going to get through this, obviously. So, large bowl, and you need to put your, it says, put the flour, yeast, sugar and salt into a large bowl or mixer. But I don't have a KitchenAid, because I just don't. Because I'm a crap baker and you know. So, put the flour, which is the bread flour, which this is overflowing. So, we need to carefully put it into the bowl, like so. And then the yeast. I don't know whether this is. Obviously, it's yeast, yeast in bread. When it says yeast, sugar, and salt, I put it like, like, one of them at the top, the other at the bottom, and one other side in case it starts to do its combining work because it does that. Come on, does this smell like cat food as well? Oh, it smells like gravy. Oh my god, that's so. As you can see. That 
the top of the bowl. There. Sorry about that. Helps if you can see it. And then flour used sugar, which I've got my sugar here, so I'll put that there. Sugar. Flour used sugar and salt into a large bowl. Which I just need to carefully do this because I've got my granulated sugar. What is this then? This is salt. Yes, we need salt. So we've got the salt in. What next? Into a large bowl or next one. In a separate bowl, so we've got this two side. So we need to find a separate bowl. I'll get back to you another one maybe. Next step is to in a separate bowl combine the milk and melted butter and slowly pour into the dry ingredients which pour to the butter here as you can see. Just move this there. As you can see here, I've melted the butter and it says warm milk, but it's not lukewarm, but it's my hot warm. I'm joking, but seriously, it's not warm, but it's a bit more than warm, but it'll do. So, combine these. So that is a lot. You need to combine these. She then says to mix the, that into the, the dry ingredients and turn it before it brings a dough. So when you've combined your ingredients into the wet ingredients, into the dry ingredients, into the bowl, you then need to till it forms a dough something like this and you then need to knead it but seriously you need to knead it for about 10 minutes time just says 10 minutes in there which will also set a timer but I'm not the best person to knead I can't really knead that well because I'm just a beginner at baking and yeah so basically something obviously like this but obviously a better just do it a better just box videos or something just need to pull it back try and do it with my hands so push it bring it back then just repeat, push it back, there we go, just like that. And then you want to prove it in a warm place for about an hour. That's what Tanya says. And yeah, I'll see you when it has happened. So, you then need to grease your bowl, which you just mixed it in, which I greased it too much. That's okay. And then you basically get your yeah perhaps old dial thing. Put it in there and then you want to try and on the end of this. You want to clean things over or cellophane it over, whatever you want to call it. And you then need to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit and gas mark 6 and then you need to also change because I've had a shower in that. 
Split the dough into 12 pieces, roll out, roll each out into a long thin sausage about 40 centimetres long. So here are my 12 little pretzels that we needed to divide into 12. I haven't really rolled them out yet, but on the ingredients, they need each ball needs to be about 73 grams because I weighed it out. It was about 800 and something grams, and I divided it by 12, which made it 73.72.8, but rounded it to 8. And yeah, those are them. So that's basically my first one. And yeah, as it's my first one ever, I'm quite impressed with that. The next step is. Now cross the ends of the dough twice and bring the dough. Did I do that twice? Yeah, I did. Cross the ends of the dough twice and bring the strands down and press into the dough. Boil a full kettle of boil a full kettle and pour into a large saucepan. Add the bicarbonate of soda. Mix until dissolved. Dunk each pretzel into the water for ten seconds. Okay, so basically, I'm going to do the rest of those, boil the kettle, and I'll see you on the pan side of things. Here I am with the um, pan. That's why I am. She doesn't specify whether it's on a high heat or a low heat, but it will sizzle, so I'm going to just stand. Oh, it's like a little bath bomb! I forgot to show you. But do. What does she say, Stan? Add the bicarbonate of soda and mix until dissolved. I need a spoon. You need adult supervision. That's it. You need a spoon to. You need to mix until it's dissolved. Whoa, that scared me. So, adult supervision, even if you are old. Um, and she says, um, don't keep pretzel into the water for 10 seconds, removing the removing the slotted spoon. So, oh, let's turn that down. And then there's a slotted spoon. Um, I have no idea what the slotted spoon is. So I'm going to use... No, actually I'm putting that in there. Because no, in there. That's not going to work. Sink, sink. No, this is not working, this is not working. One, two, three, uh.
forgot to film the rest because it's quite hectic. So I'll just put a picture right here. And yeah, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week.